home, year 11, uh, back at home, working from home again, which is not ideal. However, I've got some work for you here, which will help you towards your final GCSE. So we're not wasting time. We're not setting your work just for the sake of doing it. You have to study unseen poetry as part of your literature paper too. It was one of the things that the GCSEs were not allowed to get rid of, okay? Unseen poetry, the clues in the name, you will be given two poems. And if you look here, you've got two questions, okay? So in question one, that's worth 24 marks, you're going to be given a poem and you're going to be asked to look at a theme in the poem. This is going to be where you do your normal paragraphs of analysis. So you will study, if we look down here, you will study the poem and you will tell me what is the meaning in the message. We've done this when we've looked at the poetry anthology. You'll also embed a quotation. You'll do some inferences. So what do you learn from the poem? You'll do some language work and you will look at the structure of the poem and what the writer is trying to tell us by using the structure that he does. At the end, you'll link back to the question and you'll do two or three of these. This is exactly the same stuff as you have seen before when you have done your anthology work, okay? So you'll be given a poem, something like this one, that you won't have seen before, and that is going to be worth 24 marks, okay? So my advice to you, there are a number of PowerPoints, and all of these PowerPoints have got on them different poems looking at different themes. I want you to work your way through. First of all, make sure you get to know your poem, okay? So complete the tasks that are on the slide that I'm showing you, and that will help you to get a really good understanding of the poem. And then in the second hour of, you know, second lesson, I want you to then do your analysis of the poem. So this poem, Harley's Boat, asks you how the poet presents ideas about death. So you'll be looking for quotations that show us about death for the use of the structural devices and what the reader's learning. OK, um, your second task that you need to consider is based on question two. So if you just give me one second, I'm going to show you a comparing version. So here, question two says to you, in both poem one and poem two, the speakers describe, okay? So basically, this is a little bit like your paper two, question two, where you've got to summarise both poems, okay? So here's an example. You've got two poems. In both Nettles and Lullaby, each speaker describes feelings within a parental relationships. What are the similarities or the differences? Okay, so just like our language paper two, both poets use language to tell us about whatever. In poem one, you'll talk about a quotation, you'll tell me what you learn from that quotation. However, in poem two, the poet uses, and you'll pick your device, You'll use your quotation and then you'll explain what your inferences are. You'll link back at the end saying clearly both show both poets and that will link back to the question. So if I now show you the folder, what you will see is that you've got the first lesson is just based on question one because that's going to be worth 24 marks. So question lesson one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So you've got eight hours worth of work there where you're going to look at different poems and just do your analysis of poems you've never seen before. The last two lessons, nine and ten, are where I've given you pairs of poems that you can start to compare. The reason that I'm asking you to spend less time on that task is because it's only worth eight marks, okay? So you're going to start looking at the comparison and when we're back in school, we're in lessons we're going to continue with that together as a class I hope that makes sense I really hope that you're all now grown up enough to realize that this is it this is year 11 and you need to get that work done I don't want to come back from this period of time off school and to be talking to people who haven't done any work and they're saying I couldn't get on show my homework okay you've all been told to put that right during your time in school have a go at it take it seriously it will really help you in your final exam and I will look forward to seeing you back in our classroom miss you guys hope you're all okay see you later